Welcome to the Designer Knit video learning series. In this tutorial we will demonstrate interactive knitting with a Brother electronic machine. Electronic and punch card knitting machines have a built-in memory. When doing patterned knitting it is necessary to get the stitch pattern into the knitting machine memory before knitting starts. And this is done in Stitch Designer, so that's where we'll start. For electronic machines the pattern is transferred by cable link to the knitting machine memory. In this tutorial we will use the Brother KH950i and a USB BrotherLink 5 cable to download a pattern to the KH950i memory and then interactively knit it. Let's begin by starting a new stitch pattern that is the right size for a back piece of a sweater. We select File, New Pattern Setup and choose Set Size from a Pattern Piece. We haven't got a shape file in memory at the moment, so it starts by inviting us to select one. I'm going to select this Brother Tutorial one and click OK. Then we select the back piece from this drop down menu and OK. And OK again. So this warning appears saying that it's 202 stitches wide but we only have 200 needles. We won't use the whole 202 stitches, it's just nice to have a little bit of a border each side so we can move the piece around uh, where we want it. So for now we'll just click OK. Next we go to File, Open Stitch Pattern and I'm going to choose this tree here and then click open. So this tree was created in Graphic Studio from a photo and then these hills here were drawn in manually. So now we're just going to go to check and then select jacquard and OK. So it's told us here that there is an error and we can select to automatically fix it. So if I click yes, it's done that for us. So due to it being jacquard, the next shaping has to be done with cut and sew. So we go to shapes, cut and sew. Yes, I will just save this as tree 1B. Um, okay. OK, so now we go to, we want to integrate it, so we go to Shapes, Integrate. I'm just going to call it Tree C. So back is ticked there, and we go to OK. So now we want to save it, so if we go to shape, save shape, that saves the shape file. And now we want to download it to our machine. So we go to transfer, integrated download, select our machine, so we've got the KH950i, and then click OK. So we only want the back selected. It's the only one we're doing at the moment, so make sure that's the only one ticked. And then you'll see here that it's got 901 next to it. So we need to remember this pattern number to put it into our machine afterwards. Click OK. And click OK again. Yes, we're happy for it to replace the other patterns. So now we need to make sure that our cable is set up according to the instructions that came with it. Once we've done that, then we click download. This pattern will take up a lot of memory due to it being jacquard, so I'm just going to follow these instructions that are shown on the screen here. I'm going to follow those on my knitting machine. There we go, so that's now downloading. 
So the process is identical for the KH940 and it's similar for the other Brother Electronic machines and for the PPD. Stitch patterns can also be downloaded to Passat Electronic Machines and to the Silver Reed PE1 prior to knitting. A variety of optional cable links are available to match the different connectors and memory formats that different knitting machines have. For machines with punch cards or reader sheets, the pattern is transferred by printing out an exact size pattern template, punching a card or marking a sheet, and then reading it into the knitting machine. So now that that's done, we're going to go into interactive knitting using this button here. We're going to select the piece that we've been working on and click OK, back, OK. Yes, we want it integrated with a stitch pattern. And that's just saying that we should, because of it being jacquard, um, we need to do the cut and sew option, which we already did previously. So we can click yes. So now I'm just going to tell my machine to knit pattern number 901, because that was the number that we saw before. So now we're ready to knit, so we're going to click the amber traffic light. I'm just going to press pause while I cast on and knit the rib. There we go. So I will now remove the eight, the unplug the eight-way connector as it's asking me to, and I'm now going to knit the pre-select row. There we go, so I'm going to now press OK and we're ready to go. So as we knit through and you watch it on the screen, it will look different to the other interactive knitting tutorials as it's jacquard knitting and therefore the rows are knitted in pairs and there are multiple passes of the carriage for each row. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some knitting. I suppose we've done enough knitting for today and we want to close the computer. I click the red traffic light button here and that tells that tells Design Knit to make a note of where I got to. When I next open Design Knit and knit with that same knitting machine, it will know that it needs to start at that row number.